What's going on, guys? Welcome myself back to another video. So today we're gonna to be reviewing Madison Beer's new song, "Boy S Word." Uh, we've never reviewed a Madison okay. Beer song before. We never reviewed a Madison Beer song before. Uh, she has a pretty nice voice. It's nice and flowy yeah. and whatnot. Um, oh, really? What song, Luke? What song from her? We have we reviewed? I don't even know, bro. Yeah, exactly. Know, so hopefully the song though. is good. Um, let's just freaking listen to it, boys. My name is Sean, okay. and yes, I'm ready. No, no. You, dude, you have a mask on, bro. That inside. Sean, I, I Sean, don't think your yeah, name is Sean. Come on. No, even even what I'm wearing is better than that, dude. Oh my gosh. Even feels more comfy too. Not gonna lie. Let's go. Bro. All right. All right, ready? Yeah. Ready? All right. <clears throat> so that was a uh, boy crap by Madison Beer. Um, let's uh, hit it off with Isaac, brother. What do you think about it? Honestly, um, I great beat, but that's just not my cup of tea. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't know. I I didn't really like it. It was just. I don't know. It was kind of like she just repeated the same thing over and over. So, I don't know. That For me, that'd have to be like a 4 out of 10, bro. I didn't, I didn't like it. Okay. Um, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm going to go next. You, I'm going to go next. Um, so, just, just you know, cold hard yeah, facts. Yeah, this paper's um, ready, brother. Yeah, yeah no. This is. This, this, this is, this is, a, this is, a, <laughs> this is a, gonna be a no for me as well. I feel like I'm on America's Got Talent or something. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, it just, it, it, like I was, like what Isaac said, it was kind of just like a repeating the same words. It kind of had like kind of the same, kind of the same thing throughout the whole song. And I kind of was like, maybe, you know, switch it up, do something different. Um, but yeah, it just, it kind of was it, the two thing. Um, it was catchy, catchy. It was kind of catchy. I could definitely see like maybe this catching on. Um, like just definitely going like, TikTok the same things. platforms and stuff, but probably and just but just kind of just like the overall of the song i feel like it was also kind of too pitchy i don't know if anybody else kind of realized that but i thought that it was just kind of too much also going on in the background as well um i don't know let's see what you think uh sean what do you think bro well according to my protractor you're wrong oh, okay. um, oh really <laughs> I don't know, I'll play with you. Nice. Uh, no, okay. I actually, I, I really enjoyed this song. And, you know, one big thing is, um, I'm into this type of music, and I feel like uh, Isaac and Joseph are not. So that's one big thing, right? Right off the bat. Um, but, yeah, I thought it was a good song. I really liked on the chorus how they had um, all of the artificial harmonies and all that in the background uh, with her voice. I liked the beat. It had kind of a different vibe than I normally hear from her. Um, I've compared it to Ariana Grande in some ways, um, and this does not sound like that. This sounds a little different. Um, um, yeah, I thought her voice was good, and uh, I do also think that it it had um, it did have some dope verses and build ups and all of that, and different assets and parts of the song. So I actually think it's a really good song. Um, I won't give it a ten. Because although I, I did really like it and didn't have a problem with it, it's just, you know, it's just not a 10. Um, I give it a 8.5 to 9 out of 10. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, Lucas, what do right. you think, my guy? Well, um, first thing I'd say about it is um, same thing over and over again, going with what Isaac was saying. And overall, um, I think at this point, we've talked about how lyrics have sucked over the past what 10 years at this point and we know we're not going to expect anything huge from any of these artists anymore juice world died what he talked about was deep but it wasn't too complicated which is why a lot of our generation related to it but in this case yeah. you have more and more artists being more and more generic and i mean it's not like i'm, I'm not hating on madison beer she has um for her age she has done very very well and has had a very good, decent yeah. start to her career. She's built a loyal fan base. And you need that as an artist, especially in a time where you cannot tour because of coronavirus. And um, you, you have next year, probably mid, mid-year, mid they'll probably start allowing tours again when they start distributing the vaccine, which I don't even know when that's ever going to happen. But... Um, Mid-year, I do think they'll be touring again. I do think that Madison Beer will have a decent following. 
But this song, it's pretty generic. But with our generation, we're seeing a lot of people move toward the generic songs because what the hell else are we going to listen to? And I honestly think this will be a more, a bigger song. It won't hit 50 mil, I do not think, on YouTube. I do not think it's going to get a whole lot of taps on a so what the hell? Like, what are you laughing at, bro? You're covering your mouth like this, bro. Like, All right. You good? Yeah. No, no, no. I you definitely, good, uh, I definitely agree with you, Lucas. The 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 lyrics nowadays are kind of just more generic and stuff. But I, that's why when like good artists, like let's say Kendrick, J Cole, and Drake, you know, they kind of yeah. all drop their their. That's the stuff where we kind of dive into the lyrics to be. Like, oh, I like that bar. Oh, I like this bar. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, that's kind of like yeah. you know what we really look for. And uh, other artists kind of sometimes do it too. Um, I uh, what song I was listening to, um, "Laugh Now, Cry Later" by Drake and uh, yeah. Little Dirk, and Drake yeah. had a bar, and I was like, "Oh, holy crap, that was fire!" Like, like there's mm-hmm. they. I mean, there still are by far um, um, good bars and stuff yeah, like that exactly. out there, but sure. um, like all I'm saying right now is exactly. you have artists like Drake. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of Drake, but we cannot deny that he has written some. <laughs> pretty great songs over the past what at this point 10 years it's been it's been a long i mean sean okay i'm not even gonna pay attention to you though but um it's really it really seems like now um everyone's kind of following into the and they have been for decades at this point but it's becoming more and more um, tunnel vision and it's going into like rap is going into gangs, drugs, and um, guns. That's really it. And we're seeing more and more um, music go into that direction. Girl artists, we're seeing them go, do the same thing. Either they talk about their um, areas or they talk about their ex. And we're seeing less and less songs about... Um, we're seeing, we, we still see a decent amount of love songs. But dude, I'm telling you, at this point, it's all like, it's three different topics. When it comes to pop music, and I, it's getting too generic, too generic for me. I'd rate this a five out of ten. Sorry for the extra long response, but at this point, I mean, what else are you supposed to say? I, I give it a five out of ten. I do think it'll get a decent um, reception, though. Yeah. So let you guys know. Yeah. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you love it? Do you hate this song? You know. 